What is up, guys? So Nina, who's usually asking the UFC fighters awkward questions, gets asked a very awkward question by Tom Aspinall, and it results in a moment of just pure eeriness slash weirdness slash comedy vibe. Have you ever been fingered by an MMA fighter before? Fingered? Yeah, fingered. No. What would it take to you? Uh... To finger me? Yeah. Like... Asking the question is one thing, but then to just jump off the cliff into pure insanity, he asks, what would it take? My God. Are we talking about the same <laughs> thing? <laughs> to finger me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do believe that Nina's boyfriend is the one who records all of her videos. So this just adds on to the awkwardness. Never. No. All right. No. Well, I've seen some really weird questions on your uh, Instagram, so I thought, <laughs> I'm just going to throw one in there. I'm just going to yeah, throw yeah. one in. No, never. No, never. No, never. No, never. I'm just checking. Yeah, um, no, never. He says, I was just checking. What is he checking for? Was he, he was really trying to take Nina and, and cast her. This isn't a casting couch moment, my guy. What, back to my question, what was it? Um, the, would you rather poop once a month or diarrhea every day? A fan on Nina's YouTube channel commented, bro, Tom really turned the tables on Nina with that finger question. She finally knows what it feels to be asked something outrageous that you didn't expect. Nina replied saying, I was not ready. Part of me was like, is it a language barrier? But then I realized we both spoke English. Laughed my effing ass off. All jokes though, Tom's a funny guy. I think people aren't used to the British humor. At the end of the day, it was just comedy. It's just jokes, but man, for a second, Everybody was just on edge, like, man, what the hell is going on? Even Nina for a second. But, you know, Tom's humor is just a little bit darker than others. And in other news, Tom Aspinall went on Michael Bisping's podcast and says, I think John Jones should be stripped from the title, to be honest, because everyone else does when they get injured like that. I don't see why he still got it. I don't understand that. I think I should be the real champion right now. Stop protecting your boy John Jones at the top. If he's injured, get out of the way and I'll fight Stipe. Henry Cejudo's had enough of Tom Aspinall's ego. He says watching Tom Aspinall win the interim world title, he's already celebrating. It's an interim, Tom. Save those tears for when you actually win the real belt. Sometimes when I see people like that, they just get too emotional after an interim belt. Yeah, you got a trophy, but they might as well dip that thing in either silver or bronze because it's not the real thing. I mean that with all due respect. Sometimes I wonder as a competitor, I start to think about their mentalities. How is it or what is it that makes them has he thought that he's reached the pinnacle of the world? I'm not picking on you, Tom. I'm just saying to you, save those tears for when you actually own the undisputed title. Now, Tom Aspinall reacted to Henry Cejudo saying that, saying, it doesn't matter to me what he says. He's about 5'3". If he's talking, I probably won't hear him because of how far away he is from me. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. He's trying to get headlines, isn't he? He's trying to get headlined, obviously. Looks like Tom Aspinall is ready to take on Steve Bay, tired of waiting for John Jones. But tell me what you think about all this stuff in the comments below, guys.